We are back here on Girl Talk with adorable Charles from Stoneworks. It's kind of fun. We are not um, actually in the showroom today talking to you, but we are in a home that we have done. Uh, Stoneworks has done, and they did a beautiful job. So it's kind of fun to, to see all these great goodies that you've done. I have some technical questions for you, though. Okay. Okay, I was in the showroom the other day um, looking for something new, trends. What are you seeing in the world of stone and tile these days? Well, in the world of stone, as far as slabs go, Debbie, we're seeing a lot of different finishes on the slabs themselves. Okay. Uh, for example, you have hone finishes, brushed and leathered. And just to briefly explain what that means, sure. most folks are familiar with a polished stone. Sure. It's going to reflect a brilliant shine. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, that's a polished stone exactly, right here. Great exactly. Great example, polished okay. stone. But what we're seeing now, most consumers are, are more savvy. They're okay. doing the homework and they're leaning more toward the softer finishes, as I mentioned, the brush, mm -hmm. the honed, and the leather. What about color? Are there trends that you're seeing in um, in a color? And come in here close, because I don't get Sorry. a chance to stand next to you very <laughs> often, so I got to take advantage of it for my girl talk, huh? The girls are like, "Yeah, bring him in closer." <laughs> but are there colors that you're seeing in in the hard surfaces in the granites? Gray specifically. Gray is the new. Really? Yeah. Oh, good example. Yeah, I know. There you go. Uh huh. Gray is the new brown or the new neutral, if you will? Yes. Okay. Accented by what? Are you seeing a lot of accent tiles? Yes. In this particular um, home, we did really what I'm calling sort of an ocean or a sky blue as mm -hmm. a contrast with then tumbled white. Mm -hmm. And it looks good. It looks fantastic. I see why the owners chose this particular glass, or yeah. I see why you chose this glass. Well, yes. Well, we'll say <laughs> both of us. How about that? But it is a beautiful look, and I think that that's the thing that I rely on you all so much for is... If I'm not sure what I want, that's your area of expertise. Oh, we hope so. I mean, it really is. Um, talk to me, if you will, now about glass tiles. Are you seeing a lot of glass as something that you're using quite often? Glass has been a very popular trend, I'd say, mm -hmm. the last decade, and it's continuing to move forward. People love glass. It's new, it's old, but it's really neat. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can have a lot of fun with glass. What about, I saw when I was in the showroom the other day, a lot of, this is funny, a lot of old Mexican tile looking things. Do mm -hmm. you see a lot of that as a trend coming back too? Uh, a lot of the terracotta tiles, yes. That's what I mean. Yeah, when exactly. I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, deja vu. It's I feel like, It is, it really <laughs> is. But isn't that the way it always is? Come, things come full Nothing circle. really new. It's all just a repeat. Let me ask you this, and I know for most people who come in, what can I bring that will help you decide what I want? Do, do I, if I don't really have a clue, can you help me within my budget and... Oh, of course. When okay. it comes to choosing and selecting the actual materials to be used, things that will influence or help make your decision, the cabinet color, wall paint, furnishings, okay. fabric, all these things we try to work together to incorporate with your tops and your backsplash. And this is what I've always wanted to ask you now that I have you captain, and I think everybody out there wants to know too, do I need to call and have an appointment or can I just walk in? Appointments are preferred, uh, that way we can give mm -hmm. you the time that you deserve and need, mm -hmm. but no, feel free to, to walk by if you're in the area and stop by Hunter Road and see us. Now you've basically consolidated, you're back in Hilton Head, which is a lot of fun, the showroom mm -hmm. looks great. Mm -hmm. Again, you have it laid out differently or still the... Uh, yes and no, um, the biggest thing is bringing in new materials. Like okay. I said, most consumers today are very savvy, they're very educated, yes. so they're always looking for the new Something and latest. New. Mm -hmm. I, and I really do like that. Um, we talked again about gray being the basic colors. Mm -hmm. I'm still seeing though, and I, I keep talking about design, but I guess that's what we do too. Right. Um, I keep seeing a lot of jewel tones, a lot of pop of color with the gray. Do you see that too? Yes, it's always typically going to be minimal. Doesn't overpower, but it works with the grays. Mm -hmm. Do you look and do you see granite as, um, I don't want to say losing its popularity, but becoming more cost effective so that it can be used in more spaces? Yes. Yes? Yes. Well, yeah, yes, very much. So what about <laughs> hard surfaces like quartz? That's what we were talking about before. Exactly, yeah. Great question, Debbie. We've noticed the quartz have been around for, for at least a decade. Okay. Um, we're starting to see, again, a popularity or people are expressing an interest in the quartz products. There's, I can think of five different examples of the quartz products. One of the advantages of the quartz products is that if you're looking from a design standpoint, yes. a specific color, well, you have that as an option with the quartz. With granites and marbles, you typically will get several colors within one slab. Right, because they're natural stone. Exactly. Not so with the quartz products. So from a design standpoint, that is one advantage. And the other thing that I've noticed is a lot of my clients are looking for a less busy or a more simple look. Do you see that too? Exactly. What's typical when I'm... Well, first of all, let's go to basics. The quartz products are known by 
Zodiac one? Zodiac's one, Caesar stone. Caesar stone, okay. Sile stone and Cambria. Okay. And from a thickness point of view, mm -hmm. typically how thick is a granite slab versus how thick do you recommend for a quartz product? Well, you can go either way. The quartz products are very strong, very durable. Okay. Two cm or three quarters of an inch is often preferred, but okay. most manufacturers are set up for an inch and a quarter. An inch, okay. An inch and a, same as granite. And then what about maintenance? How do I maintain things like Cambria? Oh, one, that's one of the beautiful, one of the advantages mm -hmm. of using the quartz products. You virtually just wipe it down. It's maintenance free. Nothing to it. Is it really? Minimal. And what about, do you have to buy a slab of it or how is it sold? Uh, typically, yes. The manufacturers mass produce these right, slabs. Right, exactly. Okay. Um, and then they're delivered to our facility and then we, you know, you've seen our process. Oh my God, We yes. cut it, template, and install it. So. Okay. And so that's basically what it is. So again, instead of having to pick out a specific slab though, if I pick out a piece of uh, the quartz, it's going to be... Um, what am I trying to say? Like homogeneous all the way through. Exactly. It's not like I have to say this area, not this area. Exactly. Very consistent. Is it okay? And what about maintenance? How do I maintain it? Is it like um, granite? No, it's a lot easier. Is uh, it although really? the granites have become very easy to maintain now because of the products that are on the market. With the quartz products, you simply just wipe it down with a damp cloth and you're finished. There's a lot to be said about that. What are some popular colors in that? Actually, one of my clients just picked a bright blue. Mm -hmm. It's actually it's really pretty. When she, when she pitched, I was like, uh oh, but I like it. Yeah, the blues are very, I mean, I mean, it's bright. Uh, it is bright, isn't it? It's like, whoa. But there again, we were talking about those pops of jewel tones, and it really mm -hmm. works. Well, as always, it's a treat to have you on Girl Talk. What do you think, girls? He's pretty cute, huh? How old's your son now? He's 20. He's 20. I know. He's like, <laughs> can I be done with this I can't yet? I love it. I love it. Thank you all for joining us here on Girl Talk. Have a great day. Bye bye.